Hello again, everyone. I'm Lee Manovich, and I'm going to give you a quick tip today on how to work with gradients in, in Illustrator going from a spot color to a process color, CMYK or RGB. So let's get going here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So first, let me just draw a gradient really fast. Fix that mic. And if I go over to my gradient here, first thing I'll do is I'm going to do a gradient from one spot color to another spot color. Okay, so in this case, oops, in this case, I have this gradient here. It's going from, you can see, Pantone 7404 to Pantone Orange 21. So it's a yellow to orange gradient. Looks pretty good. That's great. All right, everything works fine there. But Watch what happens if instead of going from yellow, uh, spot yellow to a spot orange, I go instead to just a process color. Look at what happens in the center there, right? That's really not probably what we're looking for, is that it's just kind of dull grays out there. And even if we say, well, let's really make this a rich black, it's still just not what we're looking to do. Okay, so let me show you a different way to do this. I'm actually going to copy this just so that we have the original for reference. Okay, and I'll show you two ways to do this actually. So let me make another copy. Um, I'll show you a, a kind of a, a typical way that people do it, and then I'll show you a way that uh, I think works better because specifically it. Um, it, it, it images better if I'm printing to a large format printer or going to commercial print with this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this first uh, just so I have this in place. And instead of making this a gradient, I'm going to make this solid color. Then what I'll do is edit. I guess I didn't copy. Okay. No worries. Copy and paste in front. That'll put it directly on top of where it needs to go. Uh, and in this one, I'll go ahead and make this a gradient. And I need to go in the other direction here. So let me go change direction. Okay, now, as you can see here, this isn't exactly working out as planned, right? Um, I don't have the orange underneath. Well, how do we fix that? The typical way to do that is we would do like a maybe an overlay. No, I'm sorry, multiply in this case, and I get that gradient. Okay, now that looks great on screen, but watch what happens when I go to save this file as a PDF which is how I would want to save it, and I go to Summary. This file contains spot colors and transparency. This may produce unexpected results if converted to process outside of Illustrator. That's a really, really common problem, and it's an issue that a lot of RIP softwares have. But let me show you a different way of accomplishing exactly the same thing. All right, so I have, again, I'm going to fill this solid. I will copy. I will paste in front. I will make this a gradient again. Where'd my there's okay. And let me reverse my directions and I will make this solid black. But now watch what I'm gonna do. This is kind of cool. I'm not changing the transparency. You see here my opacity is still set to hundred percent, a hundred percent, and I don't have any uh, transparency things set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window and Attributes, and I'm going to set up here Overprint Fill. Now, I've spoken about Overprint in, in previous videos that I've done, but that's, that's going to keep what's behind still visible and still printable in the finished product. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Overprint Fill here. Okay. Oh. RGB documents over uh, overprinting only affects spot colors. I did design this in RGB, but watch what happens now. View, overprint preview. I have exactly the same thing, right? I have that nice rich thing here, but 
because this is set to overprint and because all of the, the major RIP softwares are going to support overprint just fine, uh, this is the end result. This looks okay, but sometimes what will happen is you'll get banding across here. Sometimes there will just be a hard line, um, especially if I, if I don't set up this gradient to be the full length, if I do a gradient that kind of goes like that. Um, right at this point right here, I'll actually get a hard line when I go to print this. But if I do the same thing here, right, same thing, all right, but the end result, it will image properly because all it's going to do is it's going to lay down that solid Pantone and it's going to put that black on top of it. So back in the old days, we wouldn't even have been able to do that initial gradient that I showed you, the one going from a spot color to a spot color. You actually used to have to overlay them like that with, uh, with um, overprint turned on. But uh, now uh, Illustrator has gotten better. The RIP software has gotten better with spot color to spot color gradients. Uh, and if I had made this Pantone black, it would have looked better. Um, but I think, especially overall, I like the look of having the saturated orange with just the black, you know, a gradual fade to black by doing the solid and then the black behind it, uh, which is not something that you'd be able to do with just a single gradient. So that's my, uh, my quick tip for the week, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.